Well, welcome to Game Changers, everybody. Kelly Kellner here, host and executive producer for Week 16 of the NFL. We've had a little mimosas in the office today, so I can tell you this show might be kicked up with a little extra Kelster mania, a little Christmas mania, and we're going to bring in the man, the one and only, the best, the best ballroom dancer that I've met from Italy, Joe D'Amico. Welcome to the show. Welcome to our inner circle. Insight into the best of the best, my friend. The Christmas holidays are on us. We got a little extra juice flowing today because the mimosas are rolling. We shoot this show on Thursday. So we got a Christmas countdown. I know you got your Santa hat on. I don't want to know what you're wearing below, but welcome to the show, buddy. Week 16. Let's get into it, buddy. Well, I'm very excited to be here this week, Kelly. It's one, it's about my favorite time of the year. And you know, although I live in Vegas, it's always very warm here. It's always got a Santa feel and a Christmas feel, no matter what, in the D'Amico house. And I'm here to give a few wrapped presents to our guests that are listening and watching for, so they can put them under the tree and unwrap them, and there'll be big winners for them this week. Christmas is tough on a lot of people. It's a tough time of year. Uh, you know, between now here in the States, uh, between Christmas and April, you've got tax season. So I know a lot of people out there really need to make some extra money. I've got some winners for them. I told you, Kelly. They're going to be wrapped. I'm going to put them underneath the Christmas tree. They're available for all our viewers and listeners out there. I'm very happy to be here this week. Now, I know you're personally looking at wrapping yourself under the Christmas tree for your lovely wife, Dion, all the wishes to her. Because do you know what I like about drinking mimosas, Joe D'Amico, is when I spill them and I wear my orange shirt, you can't see it. It's beautiful. We're having a hell of a time here in the office today. Uh, my dad brought us in some candy, some chocolate. We crushed that. It's like 1 o'clock here. I don't want to want to know what's going to happen. So let's get serious about some sports betting. Let's start talking about a couple of games here. First, we've got the Colts and the Cardinals this weekend. Uh, line on this game is moved. The Colts minus one. Talk to me about this game, buddy. Well, Kelly, I don't know if you recall, but a season ago, Arizona flatlined down the stretch going three and six. Well, history yep. repeats itself, my friend. Here, uh, this season, they dropped four of the last seven. Kyler Murray, I think he's a talented guy, but he hasn't been quite the same since returning from his ankle injury. Yep. And with wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins sidelined, the offense has really – they've shown little consistency. Just the opposite for Indy, which has won seven of the last nine straight up, eight of the last 11 ATS. That's against the spread, folks. The Colts are very much alive in their division, coming off a big win versus the Patriots last week. Yeah. And if you're concerned about them being on the road, don't be. They're 5-0 and ATS the last five games played as a visitor, winning some big games on the road against such notables as San Francisco and Buffalo. Two tough plays to go in and win. Jonathan Taylor, the second-ranked rushing unit in the NFL, will take this game on their shoulders or should I say, on their leg, on his legs, and demolish the beat-up zone of defense. The Cards are 3-8, and eight, ATS, the last 11 at home. I like Indiana outright. They're getting one. So for our purposes, yep. let's take the one point, and let's unwrap that present and beat your bookmaker. Kyler Murray, Murray, Kyler Murray this season. More ups and downs than a new bride's pajamas, I'll tell you that. I'm with you. I'm on that side. I like it. Let's get into your second game, Browns and Packers. Lines moved now. From seven to seven and a half. We're off that hot button. We got the hook of seven and a half now. Still a play? Absa darn lootly. And that's not what I was going to say. Kelly, I, I don't know. Care how, I knew how what you were going to say. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care how the you're drinking the most is with me because we had a little more of an adult rated show here because I know all the kids like to talk about our picks in the in the uh, in the school grounds. So Absolutely. That's how I started. I started with football sheets in the school in the schoolyard. But Kelly, I want to tell you, you something did. right now. Let's get serious. We got to get serious, my emotion, buddy. Hang Listen on, to hang me. On. I, got, I got a quick story to tell. Like this, I got. I got one thing to say. I took my first Super Bowl bet in grade eleven with Richard Nairn, who his dad was a sportscaster at CBC Television. Now he got a job with the Winnipeg Jets, and then he moved down to the. I think he was down with Phoenix for a while. And he still hasn't paid me for the 1984 $100 super bet. So a shout out, call out, you rotten son of a gun. Pay that $100 with interest. I think it's about 20 grand right now. Anyways, let's get into the an analysis of this game, buddy. You got it, Kelly. Kelly, I don't care how depleted the team is. When you lose to the Raiders, you've hit rock bottom. Yeah. Playing with just five days to rest, heal, prepare, and travel is tough. When you still have a slew of players in the COVID protocol that can't practice and not knowing if they're going to play is even tougher. But you know what the toughest thing of all is? It's having to go into Lambeau and face the best team in the NFC, the Packers and their loyal fans. Yeah. The only 11-win team in the NFL, they still need victories to lock up the NFC's top seed. 
and home field come the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers, Kelly, he's on the cusp of being the team's all-time leader in touchdown passes. Look for this game to get uglier than Patrick Mahomes' brother's TikTok videos. I don't know if you guys have seen those. Those are ugly. Here's some ATS trends for you. I've seen the Browns are one of four. One and four the last five versus the Packers. One and four the last five overall. The Packers, 20 and eight. The last 28 and eight, excuse me, the last 28 following an ATS loss and five and oh, the last five is a home favorite. I know the line is seven half. There's still some sevens around there. As a smart better, I would always prefer to err on the side of caution and get the seven. But folks, you're not going to need it. They win by double digits and they win easy. Beautiful, beautiful. I want to talk about TikTok for one sec because we've launched our Game Changers TikTok page. And as a Christmas gift to you, or a Hanukkah gift, not to exclude our Jewish sports betting friends, and, and, and whatever religion, skin color preference, I don't care who you are. Money is money. Make it means what it's all about. So I'm doing as a gift because I'm full of love. I am full of love, Joe D'Amico. I am this week on TikTok putting up a video where you get to see my handsome face. And there's some cool stuff from my birthday party and some cool stuff that we do up there. But we're going TikTok crazy this week. And I'm putting up my personal round robin that I'm betting with our sportsbook partner, sportsinteraction.com. If you're in Canada or if you're in a legal state, sportsinteraction.com slash PVN gets you the best deposit bonus. Open up an account there. There's some TikTok videos that show you how to do it and what to do. But I'm putting up my round robin. Now, what I'm doing is I'm picking five games per day, and it's a combination. Now, it was hockey, but then they canceled that. It was a bunch of things. And COVID is really making a mess of the schedules and everything. But we're playing a lot of college basketball. We're playing NBA, and we're playing football in there. So, for example, tonight's three a five-team round robin that I put up. This is Thursday. Every day is about the same. I'm betting five games. I'm taking all 10 three-team combinations and the five-teamer, putting up $30 a bet. So there's there's 11 bets, 330 bucks. Today's wager pays over $13,000. And man, oh man, you can buy a lot of bottles of champagne and a lot of Florida, Florida squeeze orange juice with that. So guys, you got to go to check out our TikTok page. You get it for free. Sign up there. Joe D'Amico, thank you for those picks. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back after 15 seconds with New York Pele. And we're going to get the man who loves dogs more than Michael Vick at a Christmas party. This guy's fantastic. We'll be back in 15, my friends. The best bets are not on Wall Street. GameChangers.ca, the ultimate source for sports betting information. Welcome back to the PBN Studios in downtown Calgary. Let's bring in New York Pele. This man has been a very dear friend for many, many years. It is the Christmas season now. As a Jewish man, my friend, you guys got a case because Hanukkah. What do you you do? Like thirteen days of presents, right? Eight. Like you, you got to bring up old I'm old school. I, but I Christmas really? is wonderful. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yes. just Christmas. give gifts. That's all. We give yes. winners. You know what? Whatever higher power that you appreciate and love. You exactly. just got to be a good person. Because you know what? When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, here's my advice. This is good life lesson. This is above and beyond. Don't be an asshole. Come from a good place. Give good stuff in the universe. Have good energy. Good prosperity consciousness. Let's start with prosperity consciousness and helping our viewers manifest some big money, my friend. You are liking a couple of dogs again this weekend, and I like them too, buddy. Let's start with the Ravens, Bengals. Lines moving in our favor, which means we're betting against the public, which is a good sign, right? Absolutely. And this is lesson in Revenge 101. Baltimore lost 41 to 17 to Cincinnati at Baltimore. Now they're going to play at Cincinnati. Yep. We're getting three. This is no contest. Baltimore wins going away. Play. Don't sprinkle the money line. Yep. Bet the money line. Take the three. This game is an easy winner for you people. Excellent. All no disrespect to red-headed stepchildren, but pound it like a red-headed stepchild. Right, buddy? We are going to get some big, big money on this play. I like this game as well, too. Yeah, you know, Ravens 3-2 in their last five games. But they're, you know, they're they're just poised. Revenge and handicapping emotion. I know in college sports, for example, that you are an absolute monster in leveraging those untangible elements 
which again is home field. Don't lay points on the road. Emotion revenge from previous games. That power is such a force that you don't see a in a lot of those lines. So uh, we should, I think you'd agree that probably is an angle that a lot of sports handicappers don't really look at. They may, but when you put it all together, you watch the line movement, you watch the public going one side, they go higher and higher and higher. You know, it it makes no sense. You have to be uh, a contrarian in this game. That's where you're going to make the money. So just get get on board with us. uh, Patriots game. The Bills and Patriots. Again, the Bills plus two and a half against New England. Yeah. Uh, New England beat. Buffalo at Buffalo, 14 to 10 earlier in the year. And now Buffalo goes and plays at New England. New England, in my opinion, has been just a a fake all year long. Yes, they played well. They had a streak, but now they've lost the game. Buffalo is just going to start coming on now towards the end of the season. I like Buffalo a lot in this spot. I think that they will rip New England. There's another one you can bet the money line easily here, but take Two and a half, or you can even get take it up to three if you want. But uh, I love this game. I, lo- I love these two games very much t- this week. I-, I would be charging big money for these games, but it's Christmas. I'm giving them out for nothing. Oh, you're a beautiful, beautiful son of a bitch there, New York, Kelly. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit. I just want to talk a little bit about some college bowls. I know this is the NFL show, but there are some big bowl game opportunities. Now, there's a lot of things happening with line movement, with players sitting out, with COVID, with everything going on, that if you're not watching and handicapping up to the minute, you may get laid out in ways that you didn't think were happening all around you. That's why Game Changers has up to the minute real-time sports handicapping and sports information. I want to, I want you to just uh, just give us a quick little brief. I did, before we do that, I'm going to give you a quick shout-out. A couple of the college basketball plays that I put in my daily round robins come from this handsome son of a gun. Which side is he on? This side, right here. There you go. Uh, That's the guy, New York Pele, that I trust and have trusted for many, many years to give me the best of the best in college basketball. We're finding dogs that are four, five, six, ten points. I got a ten-point dog that we're taking on the money line of plays, plus 450 in my round robin tonight. You got to check it out. Go to TikTok. Gamechangers.ca is our TikTok uh, profile site. It's free, guys. It is free information. It is free money. I don't care if you put 20 bucks on the round, Robin. Take a shot. Trust us to give you great information. Pele, tell us a little bit about uh, the bowl games you got coming up. you got three of them that are big, don't you? I have, of all the bowl games, uh, take you aside all the uh, COVID and everything else, next uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I have one game each day, and they are okay. monsters. They are dogs, and they will win straight up. These are my three best bowl games out of the 50 that they play. There's nothing better. And in college basketball, we're killing it. And now comes the conference season. So it gets really good now. This is when the percentages go way up, people. Come on board. We're there. Yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt. uh, Listen, March Madness, fun as hell to bet. But it gets a little trickier as you go down. Uh, You know, we came up with strategy. I I, I came up with strategy. Pele loves taking dogs. I had a strategy uh, going back. I started this just shit about 10 years ago where I took every dog in the money in the first round, uh, uh, not on the money line, but just took the points of the dogs. And there was one year, I think I hit 82% of the games. Taking points is the key to winning money. Do not bet favorites as a regular pattern. It'll cost you money. I spent 20 years getting my ass kicked. And as a friendship grew with New York Pele going back, we learned a better system in a better way. But let's bring uh, Joe D'Amico back in to speak and have a handsome and beautiful son of a gun here at this time of year. I'm going to give you guys uh, a little insight on my free play of the week, which is the uh, the L.A. Rams. Uh, they're going into Minnesota and playing the Vikings. L.A. Rams are, on, I believe, on absolutely roll here. This line of three points is great value. I'm saying taking them. They're three and two in their last five games. Uh, they've only, only two or three games spread in the last five games. But you know what? I just love the situation. It's matching up really well. Watch for the Rams to step up their game, step up their performance, and win this game by at least seven to ten points. That is my free Kelstermania play this week. Gentlemen, I won't be seeing you until the big day, until Santa comes down the chute. I know you'll be standing there waiting for him with open arms, Joe D'Amico. We are going to have ourselves one hell of a holiday season. If you get any Christmas money, listen, grandparents put 100, put over 50 or 20 or I don't know what. What's going on these days? My my grandparents, my, I get some good money in my envelopes, but 
I got to tell you, put that money in a sports betting account. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash PVN or send us a message. We will show you how to get the biggest deposit bonuses, get to the biggest edge, uh, biggest, uh, the biggest edge in this industry. And guys, I have brought my best friends in the world. These two guys, these two guys right here are pure money. They're pure love. They're pure power. Joe, last uh, word of greetings to our viewers before the end of the show. You know what? It's a time of year where you really need to make some extra money, but it's a time of year for family and friendship. And I'm very happy to have friendships with Kelly and Pele and the whole crew over at Game Changers. But sports fans, this is a time of year right here in the States between Christmas and tax season in April where you really need to make some extra money. You got to maximize your profits, minimize your expenditures. There's only one way to do that. Follow the three-headed bookie killing monster over at Game Changers. Pele, last words uh, before the big day coming up and uh, before we get into this Christmas break. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you ne next week right before New Year's. But uh, to all of you, just get on board, get on the Game Changers train because you're going to make money with us. If it be Joe, Kelly, or myself, we're all winners. Absolutely. We got a week and a couple of days to go before we kick the ass of 2021. It's been a tough year. It's been a rough year, but we're giving you value. We're giving you the best of the best. I'm Kelly Kellner. I'd like to thank you all and wish you all at this time of year for joining us, supporting us, loving us. Comment, like, share, retweet. Go to TikTok, GameChangers.ca. You're going to see me do some crazy things. We're finishing off the mimosas before we go uh, We uh, we go back and do a little more Christmas shopping. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm Kelstermania. We'll see you next time.